guys what is up welcome back to the channel man we are just cranking away on this car and more wiring i know i know you guys love it but you got to stick with me this video we're going to be talking about the psi harness guys um i love the product we've been running it for a long time we've been running on the chevelle for a while now no problems whatsoever but i do want to show you guys where we're at with this project now mind you it's an organized mess so don't look at anything too closely because everything's kind of um for the most part they're not there right you get it um we kind of kind of got the front end back together we had all that stuff powder coated um kind of started to assemble that started working on the battery man um talk to you guys a little bit about the battery later but psi conversion now we already got the wire and harness pretty much laced in on the motor when you guys get your harness do me a favor make sure you guys call the guys over there tell them what you're running tell them what you're working with because you can have an ls1 with a you know freaking modified ls3 conversion in tank manifold and injectors and all that that all is going to make a difference in your guys's ls harness setup um it really there's a so many different combinations you can run and psi can help you with all of them so make sure you guys do that but it's pretty self-explanatory you guys when it comes to the motor side you just plug and play baby get the connector start plugging away like this guy right here that's our mass airflow sensor obviously we can't plug that one in yet there's a few odds and ends that we cannot plug in until we kind of get the rest of this thing laced up but for the most part everything is going to be right there lace the wire up nice and neat um do your best to route everything accordingly to get everything away from heat if you guys look down there down there in the knock sensor area we made sure we got everything heat wrapped and tie wrapped and away from all the heat areas not to mention their ground kit make sure you guys spend a little money on their ground kit um, psi conversion offers a ground kit it is really nice and it's so dummy proof you guys they literally give you a picture where where to bolt their ground straps at it's so simple so check that out now the only thing that does not come with the psi harness you guys should probably know by now is this coil pack harness that is definitely separate we were lucky enough that the blueprint engine came with that but we're going to relace all this stuff put some nice clean wire loom on that but you're going to have to get your own coil pack harness you're definitely going to have to do that um let's walk into the car and see what's going on in there because we got pretty much everything in there ready to go laced in all right you guys man as you guys can see man we have been busy you guys believe it or not this is an organized mess this is actually really clean pretty much ready to get the dash put on other than we do got to put our air vents on on the actual dash, or i should say the vintage air kit we got to put the ducts on that but for the most part the dash is ready to be laid in um so when you guys get your kit depending on what you guys got drive-by wire or cable right we went with the drive-by wire so we went our gas pedal we got our gas pedal mounted you're just going to have one connector that mounts the gas pedal right there we got this thing laced in all nice and neat you're going to have plenty of slack Let's see if i can get a light over here for you guys you should have plenty of slack to basically do whatever you want with it you know wherever you decide to lace or harness up now we always try to stay in the middle of the car you can see our hole right there we went our cut out our hole right there for actual main harness that comes out of the the engine side and then we got it nice and laced up here and then it's right there that's the psi bulkhead now mind you you're gonna have to add a couple extra wires from psi they do provide the little connectors but you are gonna need that special little crimping tool i'll put one down in the description below that works for that but it's not hard you guys it's really just for fuel pump and ignition that's all it is so you're going to have your power and ground that's going to come up from your fuel pump and your fuel pump relay is going to be this guy right here I even have him re um, labeled so that's be this guy here you're going to have that pin right there and you're going to have to wire in the positive from the fuel pump directly from the fuel pump there we go we got that relay out for you guys but you're going to have the pin 87 will be your power. That's going to be the one you're going to have to wire in from the fuel pump. And then you're also going to have an ignition hot that's got to come in as well. They'll give you a, a connector for that. And that's pin 30. So that'll be your ignition hot. Any good ignition source will do. And then you're going to have one more red wire that's basically just coiled up in the kit that's coming off the ignition relay. 
and that's really what it is you're going to have an ignition hot go to that so make sure you wire three wires that's it that's all you're doing for the bulkhead is ignition fuel pump and direct power to the pump and the ignition hot for the actual ignition relay so that's all you'll have then you'll have obviously your bulkhead for your ecu just laying here we got our obd2 we'll plug that into our obd2 module from decoder digital to give us all the readings for the dash that really is the best way to do it you guys if i am that's really the cheat code that's really what you want by the way watching this video is that's the cheat code right there get the obd2 module from Dakota Digital. If you guys do not do that, you're gonna end up having to wire individual sensors to the engine. You're gonna have more wires, long story short. But they do give you a few wires. They give you a, a speedometer output and the RPMs as well, but you're gonna end up having to calibrate those, do all that, it's gonna get messy. Um, you're gonna have also your check engine wire right there. That's our check engine light wire. You're gonna wire that up. We're gonna do that to our Dakota Digital check engine light there. Uh, we did have this white wire right here. We added that that's for the AC that basically when the AC kicks on It notifies it. it's tied into our vintage air and it says hey bring up the RPMs a little bit You know with AC is on so that's what that guy's for um, And really from this harness from the PSI harness you're gonna have two ring terminals that go back to the starter obviously those are your power and then you're gonna have your a couple wires here you're gonna have this well this one not like this this one we actually put our connector on it we went ahead and put the quick connect but you're gonna have fans one and two that's basically a trigger wire slash ground so it'll be that's a direct trigger from the ecu one primary one secondary fan so you can program those up to come on at different you know temperatures and things like that but it's really not hard and obviously like i told you guys the red that's your red ignition wire right there like i said i like to put quick connects on everything because it makes life a lot easier when you go installing this stuff the dash or even removing you got to troubleshoot and remove stuff we got everything even labeled you guys got everything labeled up but quick connects are going to be your best friend and there's really not much else to this thing i mean there's really not it's pretty simple i'd let almost forgot there is one other wire back here is uh, this is going to be your brake switch this is really what's going to tell you the transmission in theory to hey foot's on the brake uh engage the torque converter and such so this guy right here is you want it to plug it into a 12 volt source slash your brakes when you apply the brakes so that'll send the signal back to the ecu and say hey foot's on the brake engage the torque converter and such so that way this thing all works like gravy baby once again you guys it's not hard it's not super difficult just don't get overwhelmed don't let it get the best of you it is super easy simple just take your time make sure everything's connected the correct way the first time so that way you ain't got to go back troubleshoot and things like that but that's really all there is to it with the psi harness man it's that easy we went ahead and mounted our ecu for their transmission right there out of the way nice and neat and i don't know if you guys seen the video but ecu will be mounted on the actual dash i like that man i'm digging that that's gonna be so freaking cool but obviously these two wires here for your fans guys um the fan wiring it's really just a simple like 30 amp relay wiring they even give you instructions on that and those will live out by the engine so just keep that in mind but really that's all there is to it man uh, i hopefully this information helps you guys out just keep it nice quick simple clean and yeah let me know put it down in the comments below man you guys it is freaking hot in here uh i don't know it's like 105 today toasty mcghosty but i gotta put this dash in um i think that's gonna do it for this video 